Your 2 News Oklahoma weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. Well, two tornadoes touched down in southern Wisconsin Saturday evening, which was confirmed by the National Weather Service. One was confirmed as an EF3 tornado, which is classified as severe. The tornado lasted 20 minutes and had peak winds of 150 miles per hour. At least six homes were destroyed. Now, the tornadoes also knocked down trees and power lines. There were no reports of any injuries. Thank gosh. Well, the good thing about our summer is that we've had breaks from time to time. So it gets hot and then we have a cool down. It looks like that is coming up for this next weekend, which is excellent news. You can see though over the next several days, those heat indices, it's going to be tough once again tomorrow and Wednesday, maxing out at 110, 108 on Thursday down to 104 on Friday, and then there you have it for the weekend and early next week, knocking those temperatures down into the mid 90s, the feels like temperatures, and we'll have our actual air temperatures from the 80s to right around 90 degrees. Now we have a little bit of smoke in throughout the atmosphere today. You can see it gets close there. You can see just to the west of Tulsa. This is nine o'clock tonight, but then it kind of blows away once again with those southerly winds. And so over the next couple of days, we might have a thin veil of smoke right over east Eastern Oklahoma and southeast Kansas, but the thickest smoke is going to remain to our northwest. This is a live look now in Claremore, all part of Dave's Claremore RV Weather Camera Network, and just a few clouds left over. We had some widely scattered showers and thunderstorms this morning, especially to the south of the Tulsa area, but now that sunshine is certainly into the mix. Now we've had windy conditions today in some areas. You can see those gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour in Tulsa, 24 miles per hour in Muskogee, and also up to the north in Coffeyville as well. It looks like it will get a little bit gustier for tomorrow on your Tuesday. 95 degrees is your current temperature rebound today after the morning showers and the cloud cover that marks our official daytime high today at the Tulsa International Airport with that very warm low at 81 degrees and the dew points well at 75 degrees. That's why the feels like temperature this afternoon and early this evening is closing in on 110. Actual temperatures right now, Tahlequah at 91, 90 in Pryor, and low 90s down to the southwest in Bristow. Just got this update from the Allergy Clinic of Tulsa, and you can see we still have moderate conditions for grasses and molds, and now weeds are starting to appear once again, but good news into the low category for eastern Oklahoma. On the satellite picture from today, you can see that little disturbance that came through to the south of Tulsa this morning. Widely scattered showers and thunderstorms along with the cloud cover that continues to move off towards the east with clearing skies in our forecast overnight tonight. Another warm night that low only down to 81 degrees. Southerly winds continuing tonight between about 10 and 15. Tomorrow just a little bit hotter at 98 degrees. Again that heat index upwards of 110 and gusty once again upwards of 30 miles per hour in the afternoon. The 7 o'clock temperature right around 80 degrees nearing 90 late in the morning, 95 at 1 o'clock and into the upper 90s, close to 100 degrees late in the afternoon. Your latest 10 day forecast, we should reach 100 degrees on Wednesday along with mostly sunny skies, 99 on Thursday and still those breezy southerly winds. Mid 90s on Friday, that mini cool down comes in for the weekend with a cool front, possibly some showers and thunderstorms to kick off the weekend on Saturday. And it looks like those temperatures will remain below average in throughout next week.